Hello, this is 357 Mag Daughter, and today we are here with a putty knife. Now, for those of you who do not know, a putty knife is a knife that is used to make the putty more putty like. You can see here that mine is a little bit rusty. It's not too good looking, but we are going to fix that today. Now, I know we're just all champing at the bit to see what happens to this putty knife. I just wanted to show you this lovely set of fireworks I got the other day. Got them pretty cheap, 50% off. You can see them here. They're really nice and bright, and I'm just really excited to share this with you. And we're just gonna get right into, you know, fixing up this putty knife real soon. I just wanted to show you these fireworks. And here is my belt collection. I use these to hold up my pants because that is what a belt does. And you can see that my belts are also very useful for making things shiny. Whee! Here's my other set of fireworks that I got, pretty cheap. Uh, they're a little bit less spectacular, but you know, it's a nice show. And here's, here's my uh, blue variety of my firework setter offer. Here is my rubber band collection. Sometimes I use these to tie up my hair when it is being particularly fussy. And now you can see that you can see my lovely fingernails in the knife. Now, I don't know if you all notice this, but just like us, putty knives have teeth. And when you have teeth, you really need to brush them and keep them nice and tidy. So you can see that after brushing my putty knife a bit, making sure its teeth were nice and shiny, it is a lot more delectable to look at. And here we have some quick wood. You really should use some quick wood because it's really good and makes the wood real nice and uh, pleasant. Not sponsored. See, now I'm using this quick wood to fill in the gaps of the handle, and you can see it's a little bumpy. So what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna take out my friendly little sandpaper and smooth out this quick wood that made the wood real good. And I'm just making it nice and smooth, making it all cohesive, and now you can see that it looks just like normal wood, even though it's a different color. I was having some really great soup for lunch, and I felt bad that my putty knife couldn't experience the lovely soup as well. So I just, you know, painted some on the handle, just made sure that he really got all the nutrients seeped in so he could grow big and strong. And now I'm using a Q-tip I previously used on my ears. The wax is very good for removing soup from places where you don't want soup, I highly recommend. <clears throat> I've been waiting for this moment. Ack. Flits it, now featuring a dentist tool. And here we have the before picture before we went through this whole process. As you can see, this is a horrific putty knife. It could never puttify your putty correctly. It's just awful, and I'm really glad that we changed it. Oh, and look at that. Look at that, it's nice and shiny. Wow, that's, that's great. I don't know why we only did one side of it. It seems pretty useless to me, but you know, look, you can see my fingernails in it. I can probably trim my beard in it. Now, here are some nice images of our absolutely useless putty knife. As you can see, even though it would never work in puttifying your putty properly, it is very nice to look at, and it is very shiny, and I do appreciate that aspect of it. In a way, I'm like a crow, and I would collect this to bring to my nest. As you can see, this knife is also universal, meaning that if you went to Mars, it would still work, which is also a nice touch. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, that all your post-its come apart properly and don't stick together, that's very annoying, and that you don't find all your paper clips in a chain when you go to your office. Thank you so much. Have a great life.